Not long before the Lord took Elijah up into heaven in a strong wind, Elijah and Elisha were leaving Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, The Lord wants me to go to Bethel, but you must stay here. Elisha replied, I swear by the living Lord and by your own life that I will stay with you no matter what. And he went with Elijah to Bethel. A group of prophets who lived there asked Elisha, Do you know that today the Lord is going to take away your master? Yes, I do, Elisha answered, but don't remind me of it. Elijah then said, Elisha, now the Lord wants me to go to Jericho, but you must stay here. Elisha replied, I swear by the living Lord and by your own life that I will stay with you no matter what. And he went with Elijah to Jericho. A group of prophets who lived there asked Elijah, Do you know that today the Lord is going to take away your master? Yes, I do, Elisha answered, but don't remind me of it. Elijah then said to Elisha, Now the Lord wants me to go to the Jordan River, but you must stay here. Elisha replied, I swear by the living Lord and by your own life that I will never leave you. So the two of them walked on together. Fifty prophets followed Elijah and Elisha from Jericho, then stood at a distance and watched as the two men walked towards the river. When they got there, Elijah took off his coat, then he rolled it up and struck the water with it. At once, a path opened up through the river, and the two of them walked across it on dry ground. After they had reached the other side, Elijah said, Elisha, the Lord will soon take me away. What can I do for you before that happens? Elisha answered, Please, give me twice as much of your power as you give the other prophets, so I can be the one who takes your place as their leader. It won't be easy, Elijah answered. It can happen only if you see me as I am being taken away. Elijah and Elisha were walking along and talking, when suddenly there appeared between them a flaming chariot pulled by fiery horses. Right away, a strong wind took Elijah up into heaven. Elisha saw this and shouted, Israel's cavalry and chariots have taken my master away. After Elijah had gone, Elisha tore his clothes in sorrow. Elisha's coat had fallen off, so Elisha picked it up and walked back to the Jordan River. He struck the water with the coat and wondered, Will the Lord perform miracles for me as he did for Elijah? As soon as Elisha did this, a dry path opened up through the water, and he walked across. When the prophets from Jericho saw what happened, they said to each other, Elisha now has Elijah's power! They walked over to him and bowed down.